a little short video from MT Exotics. I'm Tom. I'm Mike. Uh, basically, we want to go over uh, your. You got your tarantula. You're doing some maintenance on it. Maybe you're taking out some uh, cricket mat or something that was in there, or you just want to move him to a bigger house. And he escaped. Oh my God! What do you do now? <laughs> yes. So without freaking out, that's the number one thing. You always want to remain calm in any situation uh, dealing with animals. That's probably your best bet. Um, okay. If you're calm, it should be calm. Okay. Um, Tarantulas do show some poises and threat displays if they are in a cranky matter. Uh, so when your tarantula does run away, uh, we usually recommend to use a catch cup. Yes. Uh, and not your hands because again, <laughs> the tarantula has probably ran away because it is threatened or feels threatened for its life. So it's trying to flee. It's not trying to run at you in an aggressive manner. Um, Unlike our Rosie here, which is just meandering around, <laughs> some of them will be crazily running around where you do have to kind of be in a quick tourm. And she's being a nice uh, yeah, spider here, nice returning to the cage on her own. But in a sense, if it was running around, we would want to try and capture the spider with the cup and not in a you know, matter to where we're going to break a leg off or something. We want to try and be as careful as possible uh, when we're doing this. And of course, when a tarantula is running around, that is really hard to do, but Ultimately, the catch cup is the method, the safest for you and also for the tarantula. Uh, tarantulas, if they fall any kind of distance, can rupture or kill themselves. If you get that leg caught under there, you can rip that leg right off of there. So one thing we want to do now that we have a catch cup on there, uh, basically you take a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper, something like that, uh, and just gently slide it over your tarantula like this, uh, and then at which point you're going to take your enclosure, bring your enclosure back, and slowly start pull that cardboard out underneath, and now we're all safe and happy again. Um, yeah. Basically, the, the main point is to stay calm, and uh, in the beginning, if you're feeling a little frightened, go ahead and work inside of your bathtub. It's a really great place. It's an enclosed area. Move your shower curtain back, and at least if it gets out, it's going to stay in the tub. Um, you know, some people will do it inside of the room, and there's little dark crevices and stuff they can't get to in time to transfer, you know, it has the potential of running away. So at least, if you do it inside your bathtub, you have you know the space that you're working in, and you can easily uh, identify where the tarantula is. Um, yeah. And plus, when you start owning your tarantula, you're going to learn the personality of your tarantula. So you'll know what you can and do with your tarantula in terms of what it's going to allow you to do. Um, there are certain ones where you just really don't want to put your hand anywhere near it because, you know, for one, it's probably going to run around on you. And two, there's a high probability that it's going to bite you. Um, you know, I'm not saying it's going to kill you or anything, but tarantula bites can be very painful. Uh, we have never been bitten, so we can't uh, go into those details. <laughs> but uh, from what we've read and seen some YouTube, other YouTube videos, it is not a pleasant experience. So just be take great care. And again, it's for the safety of your animal and for yourself. Um, so again, you know, tarantulas run around. Just try and be as cautious as you can. And safely capture it with a container. So uh, some other tools you might want to have, like we went over, you might want to have catch cup, your piece of cardboard, piece of paper, uh, several types of tongs. We use uh, these 12 inch tongs or these uh, ones you can pick up. Yeah. A, and a paintbrush in case if it's in an area to where then you can use the paintbrush to coax it out from underneath a desk, a chair, something so you're not introducing your hand to the animal, which could therefore scare it. And you know, things happen when animals are scared. Now, obviously, some tarantulas you can't use a cup that small, so we would use yeah, some you know, something years. of this size. You know, if you were to happen to have a uh, a pokey or something with some decent size to it, like a a black bird eater, as uh, Mike had mentioned, you could just you know generally uh, gently place that over the tarantula. Yeah, and then of course, if you got it in a bigger container and you need to get it into the smaller container, well, then you go from a smaller into a smaller container and ultimately get it into your uh, enclosure again. But generally speaking, tarantulas aren't going to run away from you. They're going to run underneath their high and, and stuff of that nature. They're not too really inclined to just dart out at you. Uh, and like when they do, usually it's a short burst. They might yes. go a couple feet, but it, usually it's not, uh, you know, they're on the other side of the house. Yeah, they're not uh, mile runners. They're not going to run across the, the room. They should stop at some point to where you can then calmly walk over there and put a couple in. All right, well, thanks for watching this yes. quick little uh, catch video. And uh, make sure to uh, like us and subscribe. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we'll catch you next time. All right. Well, thank you.